Okay, we'll try again. Welcome to our longest night service at Church Four Seasons. I'm Pastor Kathy Allison. This is also known as the Blue Christmas, a service of hope and comfort. During this time, I pray that you are able to take a time out, a time away from the world, and a time away from the hustle and bustle of this holiday season. This will be a time of quiet, a time of reflection, a time of being still in God's presence. Nothing is expected of you. Take this time for yourself and give yourself permission to let go and just let God be with you and take care of you, even if it's just for this hour. During the service, think about the things that may be weighing on your heart. Maybe write them down. It could be a word or a phrase, whatever you're dealing with or struggling with. And there's no hurry. Take your time. Write these down and give them to God. And after each scripture reading, there will be a time for um, quiet reflection. What is God saying to you? Participate as you feel led and just be still. Either way, this time is yours. This is a gift for you and you alone. Let us join in the call to worship. In the time of sorrow, God is there. There in the embrace of loved ones. There in words spoken with compassion. There in the quiet places of the heart and recalled treasured memories. Yes, God is there and God is here. Come, gracious God, come in quiet hope, come in gentle assurance, come, come in, in tender, tender mercy, come, come with, with healing, healing to make us whole. Frosty winds made moan. Earth stood hard as iron, water like a stone. Snow. O God of all ages, who from everlasting to everlasting grant us mercy, comfort, and hope, we turn to you this night to pause in the midst of all the celebration to remember those we have loved who will not be with us. We come seeking comfort for the pain of loss we bear. We remember with such fondness shared moments of joy, experience that are lost to time but live forever in our hearts. 
In truth, O oh God, we would like to have those times back again to enjoy, however briefly, a conversation, an embrace, another occasion of joy and laughter, but they are gone, and we must content ourselves with memories of love and happiness. Here tonight, may we remember the good times. May we remember the special qualities of unique loved ones. Grant us the healing of your spirit's presence and the sure and certain knowledge of the gift of eternal life. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. We have quite a few uh, scripture readings in this service. Some may speak to you and some may not. Maybe close your eyes as the scripture is read and listen to it as if you are hearing it for the first time. After each scripture reading, there will be a time of quiet reflection. Hear these words from Ecclesiastes 3, a time for everything. There is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to uproot, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to tear down and a time to build, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to scatter stones and a time to gather them, a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to search and a time to give up, a time to keep and a time to throw away, a time to tear down and a time to mend, a time to be silent and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time for war and a time for peace. What do workers gain from their toil? I have seen the burdens God has laid on the human race. He has made everything beautiful in its time. He has also set eternity in the heart, human heart. Yet no one can fathom what God has done from beginning to end. Let us join together in this responsive reading of Psalm 22. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from helping me, so far from the words of my groaning? Oh my God, I cry by day, but you do not answer, and by night, but I find no rest. In you our ancestors trusted. They trusted and you delivered them. It was you who brought me from the womb, you who kept me safe on my mother's breast. Since my mother bore me, you have been my God. Do not be far from me, for trouble is near and there is no one to help. God does not despise the affliction of the afflicted. God, God does not hide from me. When I cry to God, God hears me. Thanks be to God. Hear these words from the 23rd Psalm. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me, Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And the flies away, apple, rosemary, wine, or tables crowding, glory breaks while the whole world wanders. Apple, holy, unseen power, a tree which bears the flower, the blessed tree, blossoms red is 
last flower on the tree blossoms grow. There's a buzz in the garden, full of strong and warm. In the hopeless time of sin, glad motif had fallen. All but lay under death, eyes were. When all seemed lost in night, came of sun whose golden light brings dead in joy, brings an endless joy of our hope, highest hope of our hope's bright dawning, sun beloved of heaven. Hear these comforting words from Isaiah 40. Comfort for God's people. Comfort, comfort my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and proclaim to her that her hard service has been completed, that her sin has been paid for, that she has received from the Lord's hand double for all his, her sins. A voice of one calling in the wilderness, prepare the way for the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be raised up, every mountain and hill made low. The rough ground shall become level, the rugged places a plain. And the glory of the Lord will be revealed, and all people will see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. See, the sovereign Lord comes with power, and he rules with a mighty arm. See, his reward is with him, and his recompense accompanies him. He tends his flock like a shepherd. He gathers the lambs in his arms and carries them close to his heart. He gently leads the, those that have he gently leads those that have young. Do you not know? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He will not grow tired or weary, and his understanding no one can fathom. He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Even youth grow tired and weary, and young men stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. What do you want to give over to God tonight? God hears you, and God is with you. God wants to help you. Whether you write anything down or not, physically picture, picture yourself handing it over to God, and then lift yourself up in prayer. We light this first candle to remember those whom we have loved and lost. We pause to remember clearly their faces, their voices, their bodies. We embrace and give thanks for the memories that bind them to us in this season of expectation when all creation waits for the light. We remember them with love. May God's eternal love surround them. We light this second candle to remember the pain of loss, loss of relationships, loss of trust, loss of jobs, loss of health, loss of faith, the loss of joy. 
We acknowledge and embrace the pain of the past, O God, and we offer it to you, asking that into our wounded hearts and open hands, you will place the gift of peace. Shalom. We remember that through you, all things are possible. Refresh, restore, renew us, O God, and lead us into your future. We light this third candle to remember ourselves this Christmas time. We, pra we pause and remember the past weeks, months, and for some of us, years, that have been heavy with our burdens. We accept and lay before you, God, the sharpness of memory, the sadness and grief, the hurt and fear, the anger and pain. We accept and lay before you the ways we feel we have fallen short, and the times we have spent blaming ourselves and you for all that we have in darkness and in knowledge of our own mortality. We remember that though we have journeyed far and that while lost, we may have turned away from the light. The light itself has not failed. We remember that though winter is upon us and though night be dark, with the turning of the wheel of dawn will come, and dawn defeats darkness. We light this fourth candle to remember faith, the gift of light, and hope that God offers to us in the stories of Hanukkah and of Christmas with, which both also began in abandonment, insecurity, and humbleness. In a time of war and in poor stable, we remember that the loving God who kept the light shining in the temple and who came to share this life with us promises us comfort and peace. We remember, we remember the one who shares our burdens, who shows us the way to the light, and who journeys with us into all our tomorrows. It came upon the night, night clear, that quiet song. petition is said, please respond with, Lord, hear our prayers. God of wisdom, we come to you this Christmas season, tired, in turmoil, and in pain. As the nights have grown longer, so has darkness grown and wrapped itself around our hearts. In this season of longest night, we ask your healing blessings upon all that we carry in our hearts Sorrow we fear may never end, wounds we cannot even put into words. Lord, hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. 
God of mercy and compassion, there are those among us who are grieving over what, have might, what might have been. Death or loss or terrible hurt has changed our experience of Christmas. We remember that once it was a special day for us too, but someone or something precious has gone away from us in this life. We have lost a beloved, a job, a goal, a cause, a dream. We find ourselves adrift and alone. We are weary from the journey and we have found no room at the end. We come to you seeking rest and peace and shelter from the storm. God of grace and the spirit of the season, grant us all that we need to comfort us as we journey through this Christmas season. We ask that you shelter and sustain all that and sustain all those of us, both here and throughout the world, who wander or want or weep or are heavy laden, that we may be lifted up in courage and journey on in thy peace. Lord, hear our prayers. God of love, in this Christmas season, we embrace and offer up to you all that used to be, which is now lost to us and cannot be again. With celebration all around us, memories of what was and fears of what may be weigh heavy on our hearts. Please hold us close in your embrace. Be near to us this night until the light returns and morning comes. Lord, hear our prayers. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give thine angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord, give rest to the weary, bless the dying, soothe the suffering, pity the afflicted, shield the joyous, and all thy love's sake. Lord, hear our prayers. This time we will light the candles on the altar and as each one is lit lift up a prayer request for yourself it may be a different one for each candle or it can be the same one for each candle this is your time to speak to God and yours alone
Let us join together in this litany of affirmation. God did not wait till the world was ready, till nations were at peace. God came when the heavens were unsteady and prisoners cried for release. God did not wait for the perfect time. God came when the need was deep and great. God dined with sinners in all their grime, turned water into wine. God did not wait till hearts were pure. In joy, God came to a tarnished world of sin and doubt, to a world like ours of anguish, shame. God came and God's light would not go out. God came to a world which did not mesh to heal its tangles, shield its scorn. In the mystery of the word made flesh, the maker of the stars was born. We cannot wait till the world is sane to raise our songs with a joyful voice or to share our grief to touch our pain. God came with love. Rejoice. Rejoice. As we go forth from this time together, may God give you peace in your heart and rest for your soul. May your burdens be lifted and may you feel God's presence with you always. God bless you. Amen. Just